I uh, put up a short video that didn't have any sound, just some pictures, and that's not doing too well, but I'm hoping that you'll enjoy this video today. It should be a quick video, and I am going to be making oat milk from just plain old oatmeal. And as long as the oats have not been processed in a facility that also processes wheat, rye, and barley, then this is a gluten-free product. Uh, dairy milk is also gluten-free, but many people like myself have a lactose intolerance, and mine is pretty high up there on the scale. So I haven't drank milk now for 30 years, I think, and um, uh, other people can't drink almond milk or other nut milks because of a nut allergy. So uh, oatmeal can produce a milk that is safe and quite yummy actually for a lot of people and a lot of baristas in coffee shops are now using this because of its health benefits. It doesn't have the protein that dairy milk has, only about half. And, um, but it does offer a lot of other vitamins and nutrients that cow's milk does not produce, like you have a lot of B vitamins in oats. And there's, I think, more riboflavin. So a lot of other minerals and such that come from the earth that is excluded from dairy milk will be present in oat milk. So today what you'll need is, I've got some, I have a nut milk bag. This is found on Amazon. And I have some vanilla extract, agave in the raw. Of course we have our oats. I have a mixer and uh, we've got different measuring cups. I already have one cup of oats measured out ready for this. And of course one quart, that's the amount that we'll be making today. Now I already have, let me get you here. The key to this milk is going to be starting off with a cold pitcher. Let me set this up in here. Actually I'll be removing that. We've got to get the ice out of it. Every, those blades when they rotate will produce heat. The key to making this milk is we want cold, 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 cold water and a cold pitcher, cold blades. So uh, I'm doing this freehand if you can't tell. And I just took that out of the fridge. Got some ice cold water from the fridge. So let me show you after I get set up how to do this. Okay, this is going to go pretty quick. Like I said, I've got my pitcher been, I feel it almost full of ice just so it can chill out. Yeah, I'll find that piece of ice later. And I am going to put in four cups of water. A lot of people say that you have to soak your oats. And I've watched another video that says you do not. So I am not going to soak the oats. That was two cups. I'm going to add another two cups of cold water into here. And that's all of that that we'll need. And my vanilla, just a little bit. My wife informed me that a little bit goes a long way, so I'm going to guesstimate, oh, about that much. Maybe half a teaspoon or so. Same thing on agave. The reason I chose agave instead of, uh, you could use honey, uh, any type of sweetener that you wish, but I kind of like that caramel. So actually what I'm after is sort of a French vanilla type taste because if it's that good, then that's what I'll be using in my coffee and pouring in my oats. And let's, Let's put the countdown timer for 20 seconds because I don't have one of those little $600 Vitamix blenders that has the timer built in. Stand by for the noise. Here we go. We're 
we're just about done. Let's get out my bigger, better nut milk bag. And it actually comes with a cookbook for making some of the other uh, almond milks. And if you want to try that yourself and links of where to get them. You, I suppose you could use cheesecloth and strain this quite a few times. Uh, I did see a video, another video that promoted this product. This is the first time I'm using it. So let's uh, hope that it does what it's supposed to do. Let me see if I can pour so that it's all in here. I suppose if you really wanted to soak, you could soak it like that in the bag until you get ready to use it. So that's it. I know the chickens are really going to enjoy this. Now if we wanted to, we could dehydrate that and uh, eat it, but I'm not going to. Alright, let's see where are your cameras. Yeah, let's get over here. I'm going to give you a taste test consistency a lot of people say this is slimy but I think milk has its own type of sliminess and I know somebody's going to ask have I ever tried to can this actually this is the very first time that I've ever made it so like my saying is let's learn together and then we'll teach the others all right, let's, let me see here. Get this on camera. I hope I'll be on it. Here we go. Let's see what it tastes like. Not bad. Definitely not slimy. But it's very like a skim, skim, skim. So when I do this again... I'm going to only use three cups of water and try that and see if it thickens it up a little bit, and it should, and maybe blend it for an additional five seconds. Yes, I'm drinking from the jar that everybody else is going to drink from. It's how I grew up, okay? Oh my goodness, that brings back memories. Remember the ladle? If you're my age or older, I used to go to my great grandmother's and there was a ladle made of aluminum that hung on the valance above the kitchen sink and right above a window. And my cousins and I would, any time of day, everybody used the same ladle. We wanted to drink water, we used the same ladle. So uh, our immunity was extremely high or if it wasn't, just everybody was sick, but... You know, the more I drink it, the more I like it. Um, except for it's just a little bit too much skim for me. I like the sweetness. Again, using about a half a teaspoon of vanilla. And actually, I think I'm going to just add a little bit more, and I'll shake it up later. A couple more drops. And a little bit more agave. There we go. So I might change my recipe to three quarter teaspoon vanilla and a full teaspoon of agave because I just like that kind of a sorghum type flavor. But you can see this is a quick video, quick and easy, almost looks like French vanilla, which is my preferred no pumpkin spice latte for me. Just give me some French vanilla creamer and black coffee. So, that's it. Pardon me. I'm working on some other stuff. Right now I'm uh, fermenting some scorpion peppers. 
and hopefully hope I'll be doing a hot sauce recipe soon because I love hot sauce <gasps> hot sauce and milk it's an idea with garlic that may be overkill anyway oh yeah if you have already made oat milk and you have a favorite recipe please please leave it in the uh, comments below I would like to try it if I like it just as much as you do then I will share your recipe and uh, call you out and say hey this is where I got it from everybody go to her channel or just let's get your cookbook right so I appreciate you joining me today and uh, I hope to see you soon on another video also thank you for the thumbs up and the likes and subscribes and the questions and the comments in the video below and also for visiting us on Facebook that is new and old survival on Facebook and just drop in and say hello I saw your video I'd really appreciate and I do respond to each and every one of you hope all of you stay safe God bless you and I'll see you again soon